I don't know what's happening out here on the open range. Oh, yeah. Hello, my name is Dr. Gabi Meyer. I'm an extension veterinarian for beef cattle herd health and production at UC Davis. In this video, you will learn how to take blood from the tail of cattle. Some of the reasons for why you would want to take a blood sample from one or several of your cattle include checking for trace mineral status, testing for a disease status, for example, exposure to Yoni's disease, bovine leukemia virus or anaplasma, or to make a pregnancy diagnosis. I would always recommend consulting with a veterinarian about any of these issues first, but there may be instances when the vet can't make it to your place immediately and it may save some time to be able to perform this task yourself. It is important to submit the correct type of blood tube and the required blood volume for each test at the lab. The color of the stopper tells you what type of additive is in the tube. For example, green top tubes have the anticoagulant heparin added, purple top tubes have EDTA added, royal blue top tubes have zinc-free caps, which is important when submitting blood for a trace mineral panel, while red top tubes or tiger top tubes like this one have no additives and are used when serum is needed. You can either use a syringe with a needle attached to it to draw the blood. You want to first break the seal by moving the plunger back and forth a bit, attach the needle. I'm using an 18 gauge needle here and then insert the needle into the tail as will be shown shortly um, and aspirate the blood before transferring it to a blood tube by going with the needle through the rubber stopper. Or you can use this type of needle with a hub. Uh, they come with or without this little rubber piece that protects the needle and stops the blood flow when you detach the blood tube, so it helps keep things clean. This setup requires a little more dexterity because you have to hold the blood tube in place, uh, but it uses fewer materials. Also, once you attach the blood tube to the needle and you are not in the animal, the tube will lose its vacuum and will no longer be usable. Make sure you have adequate restraint for a beef cow. That typically means a cattle shoot. Position yourself behind the cow and lift the tail. This requires more force than you would expect. They do have pretty strong tails. If there's manure, you want to clean the underside of the tail with a paper towel. There is a vein and artery that runs along the midline of the tail in this groove. There are vertebrae that you can feel and you want to avoid them with your needle. So this would be a good spot to go in. Here's another view. Again, here is that midline groove. And you can feel a vertebrae right here. And what novices sometimes do, the mistake that they do is they go in at an angle. Do not do that. You want to go in straight at 90 degrees to the tail. You push the needle in as far as it goes and then push the blood tube on. If you don't get blood flow right away, you should make sure the tube is attached correctly. You can roll the needle or redirect the needle. However, when you redirect, make sure you detach the blood tube first to avoid losing the vacuum. And then when you're done, apply some pressure to avoid a hematoma. Here is a different view. So again, you don't want to come at an angle. You want to insert the needle as straight as possible. Avoid the vertebrae. Pop the tube on and then it should fill pretty quickly if you're in the right spot. If you take out the tube first, before the needle, suction on the blood vessel stops and there's less chance of a hematoma. You may still apply some pressure and then you're done. If the tube contains an anticoagulant, basically any color other than red, you need to distribute the anticoagulant by gently rocking the tube several times. If you forget this step, the blood may clot and may not be usable for the intended purpose. Don't forget to label the tube with an ear tag number or other identification so you know which animal it is from. And then of course repeat that if you take more than one blood tube. So again, this is a red top tube, so you can already see a blood clot forming. So the red blood cells separate from the serum in these types of tubes. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out our other resources like our webpage at ucanr.edu, sites, beef cattle, 
as well as our Facebook page UC Davis Beef Cattle Hurt Health and Production. Out here on the ocean.